Hi everybody Welcome to the channel Welcome to What day is it today? December 17th, 18th And we're at Willingham Woods It's the 18th is it? We started out, it was nice and sunny It started out, it was sunny <laughs> um, Teresa's sporting a new new gear, winter gear. We thought we'd buy some winter gear so we can actually use the bike in winter. It's toasty, isn't it? Uh, bike's filthy. And also, we put this screen deflector on, which we've come down. Unfortunately, the camera hasn't recorded anything. But from what we can gather is the way it's felt. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, the, the window has deflected off of me really really well so yeah so we put this wind deflector on so now we're going to find out hopefully if this records on the way back uh, if there's less noise on the video which is what we're hoping for so yeah we've got all this new gear um, it's not expensive we didn't pay lots of money for it in fact it's uh, decidedly cheap Right, so elegant. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, gone over 250 miles now. You okay? Let's do it. So yeah, we didn't get any recordings on the way down. Um, the battery decided that it was going to just go flat straight away. Good old GoPros. So hopefully we're going to get a bit on the way back. So. He joined us just leaving Willing Woods. And uh, like I say, we've got the new deflector on, the windscreen deflector. And to be honest with you, uh, coming down, it is very, very windy today, so there might still be quite a bit of wind noise on here. But, um, yeah, it, oh, it's just been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's, um, it's taken away the buffeting on my head. So now my head's not doing this all the time. And, uh, yeah, it, I didn't like the look of the touring screen. I thought it was too, more, too much up that way and, uh, yeah, it wasn't for me. So I thought, well, I did try one of these with the VFR and I thought for the sake of 10 quid, eBay special, oh sorry, that auction site we all use, I might not edit that out. Um, I thought, well, for the sake of that, it's worth it. And uh, I've got to say, for me, it might not be a rich cup of tea looks wise, but for me, yeah, it worked perfectly. Like I say, December the 18th, 17th, 18th, whatever today is, um, I can't believe I'm out. I've, I am not a winter rider. I am wholly, solely a uh, fair weather rider. However, this bike has got me so excited that all I want to do is ride it. And I've been dreaming about a day like today and uh, getting myself on the bike. And here we are. Thank you all so much for tuning in and joining us. Um, hope you're all well. I'm sure you're all ready for the uh, Christmas period. Uh, we'd like to wish you both, both of us would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. However, if you're watching it in June, well, that ship sailed. Uh, hey ho, never mind. Um, what else? What else have we done? Uh, we're now on, yeah, 260 miles on the bike. She's um, performing absolutely beautifully and uh, I just absolutely love this bike. I know it's only 260 miles, I know it's the honeymoon period and but for me to go out in bad weather knowing I'm gonna have to take it home, clean it, polish it and everything else and it never even entered my head that I wouldn't do it. 
Right, the clothing we're wearing, um, oh, I've forgotten the name manufacturer, I will put that in, up here somewhere, and uh, that will be um, it was bought online and we went to a few places went to um, where did we go where did we go where did we go we went to uh, JNS at Doncaster and we had a look round and we went to um, some other bike shops anyway had a look round and usual prices you know sort of 150 quid for a jacket to 200 pound for a jacket and sort of 90 quid for trousers and uh, you know up to 130 140 pound um, I'm not saying they're not different makes or, or whatever because they were but they to me um, they weren't like Gore-Tex stuff which I know a lot of people rave about saying that it's the best but I don't I'm not sure you need it as long as what you've got is a warm e.g. windproof and b waterproof then surely that's that's the key it can't be any more windproof or any more waterproof so for me we decided for the price we would try this online stuff it's not an online motorbike shop or anything like that it's, um, it's an online retailer and you all know who it is I'm not that keen on using them that often but understand the difference in pricing so the jacket I'm wearing was $49.99 the jacket Teresa's wearing was $49.99 the trousers I've got on were $39.99 and the same for Teresa so basically got the whole suit for less than the jacket so I wasn't expecting anything I wasn't expecting it to be any good I wasn't expecting it to be warm I thought well it might be a bit warm through a bit shallow I will be honest I have not been out in the rain in it however I've just splashed water on it and it just beading on top of it so for me, for my winter riding, which isn't anything majorly serious, just a, a nip and a pop, it's perfect. And I feel that that just says, it all, you don't have to spend hundreds and thousands of pounds on gear. Maybe my days of um, caring what other people think of long gone now. I really don't. I'm not bothered. I mean, we've just been to Willingham Woods and there was a couple of cruisers there that were, I would say, um, highly polished. And they've gone out in this weather and they're going to go home and clean them. And there was me being a little prima donna with my sports bikes. And I've got to say, owning this bike has opened my eyes massively. I mean, it, most of you will have seen the um, the video with, with us on the sofa with Teresa saying how much she loves it and everything. She just doesn't stop smiling since we've had it. As soon as I said we're going out, she got she was ready before me, and that's very unusual. By the time I got the bike out, she was already ready. So that kind of says it all. So we are, we're going to try and get the uh, first service in the beginning of next year at some point obviously got to anyway um, I am definitely changing the tyres like I said before and I'm not impressed with them today at all. I'm not a really good rider that makes a difference with tyres I can tell but I can tell that they're not very good at all
listen guys if you are even considering another bike and you want something like the Tora sport bike you've got to you've got to put this in you just to try this you've got to even if you've got a sports bike you need to go and try one of these because it's an owner I know it's a K5 derived engine and everybody goes on about that but for me this runs and rides very very much like my old GSX R1000 K4 very stable very obviously it's a bit more sick on but very still very stable thing for me is I didn't want to buy Gore-Tex for the simple reason that I'm probably not going to use it that much. It's going to be the odd day out right now and that was a lot of money to spend on the odd day out. You know if I was using this as a you know, YouTube as a business and I was having to bang videos out you know, like one week, two a week or whatever then it might have been a different story and I probably wouldn't have done it. And I know there are other other guys out there who do use the Gore-Tex stuff and you know, highly recommend it. Same as uh, all the heated stuff, heated clothing. Again, if I was going to be doing this, you know, I need to go out and do a video every week. Then yeah, I would, uh, I would invest in heated clothing as well. Or if I was going to do like a winterish tour, I think that'd be a necessity. However, um, that's not. Me. Also, yeah, the gloves, same. And my hands are toasty. I haven't got heated grips on this. I was thinking about putting them on, um, however I have had them before and to be perfectly honest with you, I think you kind of need uh, guards with them because obviously you're only really warming up the palm of your hand whereas uh, if you've got guards as well protecting you from the wind then uh, you know that's something that's going to help unless of course i must admit the mirrors are kind of in line with my hands so whether they're protecting my hands from the, the icy cold wind blast i don't know but the gloves are very good i don't like i don't like new gear because obviously you've got to bend it in and everything else and i must admit i think the gloves i feel could have been done another size bigger however they are quite um bulky and because they're bulky then maybe another size would have been too much my fingers are right at the end they're not uncomfortable so maybe it's a better fit and I can do things with them. Also I believe these, yeah, these have got the touch of the new phone. About 30 quid, 25 quid from uh, same place. Same mate, same same brand as the same. I can't believe I'm out today. This is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely loving it. You want to go to work for, ladies and gentlemen? A little bit of pleasure. You know, these Lincoln Sheffields are so open. Again, the bike is so stable, it's not going anywhere. I've got some right wing blocks on it and it's been absolutely fine. I'll tell you what we did do though, we bought some uh, under helmet. Um, like balaclavas, no, they're not very good. Again, they were they were eBay, I think, cheap. Um, don't no, don't do it. You need to pay a little bit more. I think the ones, the proper ones, we've got Kbergs. Uh, Teresa's taking her her under helmet one off. I brought a Kberg with me in the top box just because, and uh, I believe. Well, she hasn't said anything at the minute, so she'd probably be a bit more comfortable in that. They're, they're a better fit, 
I think the, the proper biker ones rather than just a, a you know a windproof balaclava. Still doing the job all right, they just the fit's not very good. I've got no complaints of the actual the job they're doing. Um, you know they are doing exactly what it says on the tin. Oh, oh well, can't get down there now. I've never been down here, so hey -o, join me on a new route. Well, that was a proper good shot. I've got a great big lump of doo doo, bird doo doo on my visor. That bird must have been really well. Must be all over my clothes and all. I've been christened, supposed to be lucky, innit? Get dumped on. in there and had a very nice, very nice bacon uh, I can taste it pop bagel thing it's not the bagel, it's not the bagel that was very nice I don't know whether that's down to the fresh air on the right or whether it's back then or whether it's just a really nice bacon these roads all the time and I never know where I am. Brilliant. Good old Lincolnshire. Tell you what I did watch the other day, Teapot One Up Scotland. And uh, wow, I was very impressed. Um, he was riding in snow and I don't mean a little bit. Check him out. I think it's something that should have gone in March or should have gone in April or something. Um, Can you see that? Great big splot, you know. Yeah. He must have aimed and fired at the same time. <laughs> Little shit. <laughs> I was supposed to be, yeah. <laughs> I'll just wa I'll just wash me. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Teresa, I'm not going to bingo. <laughs> Teresa says I need to put the lottery on. Oh. Having bird poop all over my visor. Oh. Okay. I'll tell you one thing, the balance on this is lovely. Um, got top box on today as well, obviously Teresa's on the back. Uh, can't tell it's there. 
Uh, what an advantage, we know to bring my camera stuff out, brought my spare battery out. Um, brought my stick out to help me stick out. Yeah, loving the idea of having a top box. There's plenty of room in it, you can actually put a helmet in it. We'll take one helmet. Well, I'm all ready, I know I'm on my way home and I don't want to be. How good's that? How good is this bike? Everybody you see that's getting them is, is the same, it's right. Suzuki has absolutely sorted it. I mean, I've, I've got a couple of friends with BMW XRs and they have drives. I will be honest with you, they do have drives for them. Um, and we did spec one up, I will be honest with you, we, you've seen my road test on it and I was very impressed. But when we finished specking it up, it was nearly eighteen and a half thousand pounds. Uh, this, you don't spec it, you just go in, order it, and off you go. Yes, we put a few extra bits on it, like the top box and bits and bobs, and uh, obviously a screen as well. Um, but nothing radical, nothing massively expensive. Top box, by the way, we ordered from uh, that well-known auction site. Three and a half hundred quid, including the fitting uh, frame. And it's a uh, it's a yeah. I'm going to say it's a proper one. That's not right. It's not a cheap. It's a cheap not proper one. So we've got to make of that as well. I will put that up there too. Good job I've learned how to do that, isn't it? That brings it up to the I see a few people are trying different cameras out, they're all going a bit fed up with the GoPros breaking down. I get it, but I have also tried other cameras. I've tried the eight mans and things like that. Sound quality um, is horrendous. You can do nothing about it. Um, they're all right if you are. Uh, and also to waterproof them, you have to put them into a.
how many people are going to go for that. However, uh, all the people that have ridden it are, yeah, for the praise for it, absolutely for the praise. They, uh, it seems to think it's, um, well, it will be, it's one of these. <laughs> I know I keep gloating with this and I'm sorry about that and I'm sure that if you don't like it you will tune into somebody else. I think this is the bike I've been waiting for for years. And like Teresa says it ain't bad looking either. The only negatives I found on this bike from other people, not me, other people, no to do with me. Some say the headlights aren't very good. Well, I don't very go out at night very often. Um, and if they are very good, they aren't very good. They're LED, so it wouldn't surprise me. Um, and people are saying the residual value is rubbish on them. The residual value is rubbish on everything. It doesn't matter what you've got now. You try and trade a car in, they'll offer you absolute shit, uh, rubbish money and then sell it for top money. Everybody's trying to rip everybody off in this day and age at the minute. Uh, we, we looked at trading our car in and they're offering me half of what its value is. That's half of what they're going to sell it for. Now at one time they used to, they used to expect 1500 quid, maybe two grand on the right deal. You know, so they've got their mark up, paid their VAT, and obviously they've got to turn the lights on and everything. They want 50% mark up now. We just said, no, we'll keep it. That's one of the reasons why we bought a brand new bike. Because the second hand mark, it wasn't much different to a new one. And the only difference is with a new one, nobody's ridden it. I know exactly what it's done, I know where it's been, and um, I know it's been running properly. A second hand bike, especially if it's a demonstrator, will have had a hard early start of its life. I mean, we bought this pretty much with panniers and everything at the price of a demonstrator without panniers. But we did really, really well with it.
I will be making every effort to go. He's also uh, he does a wild bad weekender. Um, again, I've not been on that, but uh, by all accounts, it's a cracking weekend. I used to love the Butlins weekends. I used to absolutely love them. But, uh, yeah, by all accounts, you know, that's all bike related and. I think he even gave a bike away this year. He gave the VFR 800 away to somewhere. That's, a, that's some going, that's some organisation and going that is. Uh, yeah, full credit to him. It'd be nice to actually meet up with him on the bike one day. What we've got coming up, right, we have got an interview with um, Steve Scott Motorcycles. When this goes in for its service, it's coming out and then it's going up to Steve Scott to have some tyre put on. I can't take it to Steve, obviously he's got to go back to manufacturing to be serviced. However, if I could, I would, because Steve Scott is amazing. So we're going to introduce you to Steve. Um, hopefully some of you will, uh, will be able to... I mean, he's a very, very busy man. So, you know, he's, he's well worth, if you're having a service, you know, in the near future, booking it in with him, getting it where he can uh, fit you in. And he's a lovely guy to boot. I've mentioned him before. Yeah, I've mentioned him a few times in the past, I think. But yeah, we are going to do that with Steve. I've had a chat with him and he's uh, more than happy to help us out with the channel and obviously give himself a little bit of a promotion and, um, and in the meantime I'll get the tyres on as well so we'll, uh, we'll bring that one to you and obviously more of the same of this more riding, we want to do as many miles as we can next year we want to really, really use this bike it's, uh, my motorcycling bug has definitely been uh, poked and uh, I want to just, like I say, me out in December, not a chance. Normally my bike will be wrapped up, toasted up and probably not even looked at till March. And that's if the weather changes as well. And yeah, the last week before Christmas, ta-da! everybody listen I'm gonna I'll tell you what I'm gonna I'm gonna roll it up now and I'm gonna call it a day and I'm gonna say thank you so much to everybody for your support this year you've been absolutely amazing I've loved your comments I've loved your feedback I've loved your advice your advice is always always welcome please don't stop giving me your advice or your your ideas or things that you've done or things that you've seen things that work for you things that haven't worked for you this is what I want the channel to be I want it to be an advisory for other people who come and tune in so they can read your comments and they can say well lady said that but they said this and you know if I'm wrong I'm wrong I don't mind you know you're more than welcome to uh, I mean if you want to be sarcastic well that's up to you you know there's nothing I can do about that I've had a couple of them um, but obviously all you've got to do is don't tune in you don't like what you see and don't tune in I don't quite know what you're expecting from me, but you know, we, we're just the guy with the GoPro, that's it. But nothing else with the back end, nothing else. I would like, if it's possible at some point, um, to have a ride out with some of you guys. That would be nice. Come and say hello to you. Um, perhaps do a bit of video footage of your riding as well, if any of you fancy that. Please, please let me know. I'd love to come and meet you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for all the support. Thank you for tuning in, for subscribing, for sharing. Uh, that's, that's the only way the channel can spread around really, is if people share it. It's not, uh, it's not got the, the footage that a lot of others have got. So yeah, that's where we are at the minute. Guys, give her a squeeze. Um, so yeah, please subscribe. 
subscribe, please hit the bell for future videos. We'll see you in the new year sometime. Listen guys, take very good care of each other. Just be nice to each other. And we'll hopefully see you again very, very soon. All the best.